Conservative Yoon Suk Yeol is South Korea's newly elected president due to take office in May. Yoon had promised to abolish the government's gender ministry, a stance which helped him win over young male voters, spearheading a backlash against feminism in the country. But his plan to use gender wars as a campaign platform for his successful election may backfire. Fulfilling the pledge requires approval from Parliament, controlled by the Democrats who currently oppose the idea. Opinion within his own People Power Party is split. Yoon's also vowed to raise wages for military conscripts and scrap gender quotas for public sector jobs. He was backed by around 60% of male voters in their 20s. On the flip side, just 34% of women in their 20s voted for him. I think women in their 20s are worried about the abolition. There is a lot of anxiety about a possible decrease in the quality of life, as there's a lack of support. But if the gender ministry is abolished, then the existing policies may be changed in a regressive way. The ministry has become a lightning rod for an increasingly bitter gender debate in a country where several inequalities remain. The women's labour market participation rate is below the OECD average and it has the worst gender pay gap in the same group. However, in a post-pandemic cutthroat job market, some young men feel that attempts to address the balance have gone too far. Mandatory military service for young men and not women has come under the spotlight, while measures such as financial subsidies for women living alone have been dubbed reverse discrimination. The ministry also works to prevent sex crimes and domestic violence and protect victims and support single-parent families. A Real Media poll released in January showed around 52% of Koreans supported shuttering or refurbishing the ministry.